Professor Quack, Si Yong Quack, for the kind invitation, and also for the hospitality towards uh, our member. I, I would also speak in on behalf of all the the the, uh, the people coming from Hanoi because that it's not all Vietnamese because the friend is come from Switzerland. And I hope very much that in the future that we will have uh, some kind of joint activity like uh, this mini workshop more often. And I'm thinking about maybe that we should organize some kind of uh, uh, East Asian uh, joint conference in Community uh, Algebra with interaction to uh, algebraic geometry and uh, combinatorics. Now, I, I think that the last time when I came here, then uh, it was the first time I came to uh, Dejon, and not the first time I came to Korea. And I see that the number of people working in this uh, field become larger and larger. So you, have dev uh, you are developed very fast. So in my talk, I will speak uh, about uh, main, mainly about uh, regularity of uh, ideal power. And I, I would like to divide my talk in three parts. In the first part, I, I will speak about uh, what is uh, regularity. In the second part, I will speak about asymptotic linearity of regularity. In the, in the third part, I will speak about the, uh, the regularity function. The first two parts had some overlap with the talk by, given by the other Chung. <laughs> yeah. But I have to say that he is not my relative. In fact, that we have three Chung working on the same uh, in commutative algebra. And, uh, but in, my, in, in, the, in these uh, three parts, I will speak maybe more generally about, also about the, uh, the background why we study uh, regularity. In, uh, I think that in, um, in more general fashion, so uh, uh, let me, uh, uh, regularity here means the uh, custom uh, involvement for regularity. And uh, I, I will start with the most uh, common, uh, uh, the more common uh, definition of uh, custom involvement for regularity. So this, is, this concerns the case where you have, uh, you consider a uh, uh, polynomial over a field. And then I, I consider a finally generated, uh, uh, created S module. And we all know that uh, M will have a, a minimum free uh, resol uh, resolution over S. So let, uh, let I write down the This in such a way. And then uh, we know that uh, is a mi minimal, it should be the, a minimal free resolution, great resolution. So great means that uh, uh, all the map should have decreased zero. And then the, the free summon uh, fi here, they, are, uh, uh, they have some, uh, some generator in, in some degree. And then I will need to know the bi is the maximum degree of the generator. of Fi. So that we know that uh, all Fi, they are uh, uh, direct summon a copy of F with some shift. 
on the ship corresponding to to the degree of the of this uh, uh, direct sum, and I consider bi to be the maximum degree of the generator of fi. And then we can, it better I I I write b i m with reference uh, with reference to the given module m. And then the, in this case, then the regularity of m is defined as the maximum of uh, b i m minus i. Zero. So in particular, the, if we want to construct the minimal free uh, re resolution, then uh, you have to consider uh, uh, a set of ba a basics of M, of a homogeneous element, and then uh, from that we construct F0. And then from uh, if we denote by DM, is the maximum degree of generator. Generator is mean a minimum generator of M. Then it would follow that uh, D0 of M equal to DM. And then by this definition that is It less than the, the regularity of M. So uh, let me consider some example. Now we consider now, for example, the uh, uh, a principal ideal F. In this case, that uh, minimum free uh, resolution is is, uh, is clear because that it is just as the map is given by the multi multi big application map, and then here we have the we have the, we have to some shift where d is a degree of f, and from that it follows that the regularity of a, of, a, of a principal idea. I mean that generated by a homogeneous idea. Or we take uh, now we consider the K where we we consider the factoring of S most uh, its principal idea. Then we have uh, then uh, the minima free resolution should look like this. And now, uh, now, now the, uh, the, the maximum degree of generator is here is equal to zero because S is generated, uh, S mode, FS is generated by in degree one, generated by the unit. And here that uh, for the term F1, then the degree here is D, the maximum D, B1, B1, in this case, equal to D, and B0, equal to 0. And that would imply that the requality, in this case, equal to degree F, uh, should be plus one. Minus one. Uh, uh, minus one, yeah. And this uh, should be one higher. So in general, you can over uh, compare uh, the requality of an, of an idea and the requality of the factoring. And they are different by minus one. Okay. And uh, I think that uh, probably Mumford was the first one who, Mumford and Bayer, uh, they, they was uh, they, they were the first people who point out that the recovery can be used as a measure for the complexity of a, a, a model. And, and that comes from the evident fact that, in fact, that the recovery had many phase. So now I keep some, uh, some other ca uh, characterization of the recovery. In this situation that we consider 
a module over a polynomial memory. That we have the following lemma. That the regularity of M is equal to the maximum of M that just resists an index I. So that the, the top of I S M K So that gives a uh, uh, decree that there are different at zero. And at the same, same time, there are other <coughs> characterization in terms of the x. Just the x. So at least that uh, we see that uh, there are difference in some sense there are different characterization for the for the regularity. But this is uh, he, all these uh, characteristics cons as I said before that this concern only the case where uh, the most simple case that we consider module over over S. Now how how about how about the case where we don't have a uh, minimum free uh, resolution? So as uh, uh, defined by Chung before in, in his talk, then we can use uh, local community module to define uh, uh, regularity too. And in, in this case, that uh, we can consider a more general case. But now, it is uh, it's my setting. But now I consider uh, is a great algebra finite Richard. Create and uh, standard created. Maybe better standard created. So it include uh, that it is uh, uh, finely regenerated. Over a ring A. So a ring here it should be a Noetherian ring, commutative Noetherian ring. A with unity, <coughs> and then I denote by M is the the ideal shaded by by the linear form of R. And now M big M is a finely shaded created R module. And then for people who don't know about local community balloons, though I repeat uh, the, the definition a little bit. So I define gamma M as a set, uh, as a set of all elements E in M, which, uh, which are killed by some power of, of this ideal M. So this is uh, uh, this you can also be uh, denoted by zero colon uh, m uh, infinity. So this is the usual definition for this set of element. And this set uh, of element is usually called the m torsion of the modul m. And the, the local community module is defined as a, I think that it's a, the right de derived functor of this functor gamma m. Okay?
And we, the local commission will have a very special property that in the sense that uh, in this case that they are they mm, uh, they will be vanished in in large degree. This one of the properties. The, the other property is that it vanish. Uh, For at least at four i, it bigger than the the dimension of m. And for for those modules where it vanish in in large degree, you can uh, define what usually called the the large uh, vanishing degree. <laughs> So that means that I, I window in general I define A M to be the the supremum of N such that M in degree N is different than zero. So this is uh, of N it is equal to minus infinity if M equal to zero. And now ask me for is the torque of chung then I didn't know by A I of M is uh, the large non vanishing degree of the I's local community model. And then uh, now the requality of M can be defined as a maximum of AI M plus I I bigger than zero. And th that is when the fit determined because of these two property. A good definition coincides with the definition in the case where we consider Modul over uh, polynomial, and that comes from the created uh, local homology model. Uh, the created uh, local dual duality. So we have this lemma. We say that in the case where uh, R is, uh, is a factoring of a polynomial F. And S is a, a polynomial in polynomial in S variable S variable. Then H I M is isomorphic to the X Where S is a number of variables. So this is a, 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 a local duality. M? M here or M here? This one. It's a module. It's a. I, I already said. It's the setting that M is a finite generic greater mode. Where is R is involved in your R is M. No, R if R if R do if R has this form, then this uh, because that we, we consider now that uh, M is a is a great mode over R. Ah. And if R is a factoring of uh, of a primary, then you have this form uh, you have this the uh, isomorphism which is usually called the uh, Local duality. And that from from that we can see that from this uh, I 
from his characterization of uh, regularity in the case where we consider modern over polymering, then we see that in this case, then, then these are two definitions, one size. Okay. So this x is for r or s? x is over s, of course. We have to, to, to take over s. And uh, regularity can be also can be also characterized in uh, in terms of a generic element, generic linear form. And that 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 is important for what we want to study later about the asymptotic linearity of uh, regularity. Now I consider in the general case where we consider now this setting very general case. Then we call a sequence of elements is called an M uh, uh, filter regular. Sequence if Z i that that's belong to P for for all associate by P which not contain M not containing M and uh, and this associate prime is uh, P is of uh, of the factor of the module uh, of the module Z1 to ZEI minus 1M. It should hold for all I from 1 to R. A okay. good definition is uh, Ah, portions, yes. Okay. And this is equivalent to say that if you consider the 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 core module S1 as Z1, Z i minus one time M mod M divided by Z1 Z i minus one. That this module should uh, vanish in large degree. So, in the case, if we consider the, uh, the uh, it, uh, is a ring, uh, is a polynomial ring uh, over field, then this means that it, it, this module is of fine high length. But now, because of we consider the case where it is an algebra over a ring A, so we just say that it vanish in large degree. So, this is equivalent. This relation shows that this sequence behaves similar to a regular sequence in large degree. So this means that e equal to zero, that means that this colon ideal is equal to that one. Or maybe better, I, I didn't know here by zi. But you can also re replace this by, by m. Okay. So this means that you have here this equality for large degree. So that means that the sequence become li behave like a like a, 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 a regular sequence, and because that uh, in some sense that you will see that it is divided by, by m uh, by some power of m should be the same, and that's why we call this a filter regular, which is the, uh, which is a terminology appear first in my joint paper with uh, Peter Sensen and Kuang. Uh, long, long time ago, but this is my also my first paper. And now I I miss an, another definition. That if I consider a great item Q.
inside M generated by by linear form then such an ideal is called uh, a reduction M reduction if the quotient module M QM equal to 0 for large degree so in some sense in the is a normal case where we consider polynomial then it's just like a M primary ideal okay. and uh, usually that one can take usually you can take Q equal to M then this property is overheld, okay. And that we usually I, I use it because that uh, now we uh, now now we can keep uh, a characterization of the regularity in terms of uh, such a, a filter re a regular sequence. So let uh, now we have some kind of proposition. So now let uh, Q is an M reduction. And this should be a fitter regular sequence then it would imply that the regularity of M equal to the maximum of the large non vanishing degree of the column module So it doesn't depend on the choice of the of this sequence. And it, even it doesn't depend on the whole large Q is. So you, usually you can also choose Q to be to be M. So in this case that you can assume that the, the say that the generator of the of this idea M is generated by a filter requirement. And this can be always done in a flat ex ex extension of the original ring. So that means that you can always assume that if you pass to this flat uh, extension, you can always assume that uh, M is this idea, this positive, uh, this idea generated by positive, uh, great positive element, is always generated by by uh, by a filter required sequence. One of the consequences here that for example, that uh, why we st we study regularity over so general that for example, if you consider the read algebra or the associate great ring, then they are great algebra over uh, a ring, the, over the base ring. And then you can uh, consider the regularity. And then it turns out that if you use uh, characterization, you can prove that the, the reduction number, for example, is bounded by the regularity of the, of the read algebra. And the, uh, in the case where, uh, of course, that if you consider uh, a read algebra or uh, with respect to an idea, then the, you can define the reduction number of of, an, of this idea and the ratio number of the idea is bounded by the regularity of the read algebra in this sense because of the read algebra is a great ring over over the base ring okay. but this is not my intention to go in, into much detail in this direction and now I come to the second part of my talk this is about the uh, asymptotic uh, linearity of the regularity. So here we have to consider the re uh, now I consider I is a homogeneous idea. So it's 
in R. And then the subject what we want to study here is the reproductive. this function as a fu as a function in m in the power and the the beginning maybe it is a uh, is a k where uh, where he considers a k where uh, is a polynomial To, ah, so give me that I consider only the requality of the of the of the of, of the power of the given i and i, and then there is a word by Bertram i I think i and last of us. It was about maybe in, uh, I think that it should be in, uh, in the 90s. That if I is a defining ideal <coughs> of a smooth complex variety, then they prove that uh, the requality of the saturation of this of the of a power of, of this defining idea is bounded by a linear function. And then later on, I think that in 19, uh, maybe 95 or 94, or maybe early, then it's Swanson. When she studies the growth of the primary component of a uh, of homogeneous idea, then as a byproduct, she can prove that the equality of IN is bounded by a linear function. And this, this research is much stronger than, than this research because that we know that this one is always bigger than the requality of the saturation. In fact, that these two they are different only in the zero uh, local Kumushi module. So this, this counts the uh, zero uh, local Kumushi module, but this, uh, this one it starts from the from the first local function upward. So this is all the bigger. That these are results, it's just a, a consequence of, of the Spanton results. But Spanton results has not, it's, it, it not constructed in the sense that she cannot say what about the, this linear function. And the, the, the function, the linear function given by Bertram I and last of it is it completely explicitly. It depends only on the, on the number of generator of the idea IS. Okay, then, then it came to the work mentioned by, by Chu already that about Kutkowski, myself and myself and Hesok, uh, Hesok and myself, <coughs> and independently Kudiala.
I think uh, we we prove that that this function all is the case where we consider uh, is the case where uh, R is a polynomial. Okay. It's a linear function. And large enough, and that that why we call it the asymptotic linearity of the regularity of the regularity. And the the result, the proof for this result depend on the fact that you you have a, a minimum free resolution because of you can consider the. In order to, to study this function, you have to study something globally in the sense that you have to consider own power. And the best thing that is, the best thing is you have to consider the risk algebra. And because I is a, because we work over, we work with a homogeneous idea. And the risk algebra has a, his own grading. Then we have a two grading. And together, you have a bi grade algebra. And this, uh, the, the lead algebra, if you consider as a module over a bi polynomial ring, then you have a minimum free resolution. And then you can consider the ship. And then the ship turns out that you can, you can, you can, uh, you can, uh, for, uh, because it's bi -created. so if you consider the, the second grading, you will concern the, the, the power of the ideal eye. And then you get for, for, for each for for each end, you have a, a say it, a, a strength of the minimum free resolution of the risk algebra, which concerns the the regularity, and then you can compute, you can uh, start, you can investigate this function, and then it turns out that it's a linear function. And in the paper, we also use uh, linear programming because that it somehow it has to uh, has to do with some kind of uh, integer pro uh, linear programming. But what happened in the in the general case where we consider now we don't consider the. Now we consider a more general idea. I think here it should be that that uh, is is the case for I is one. Now what happened is a in the general case where R is a great algebra. In this case, that uh, me and Wang, he's a mathematician from Taiwan, who, visit, uh, who visited us in uh, in 2005, and then we proved uh, in 2002. What is A? What is A? Vinitarian. Uh, uh, is a uh, is a uh, is uh, it's not Artinian. It's any commutative thing. Unitarian commutative, commutative ring oh. with unity. And then we prove that the uh, regularity of I and M is given by Dn. It's a linear function for N like N I. And uh, D and E can be somehow estimate. D in this case is equal to the minimum D of J. D is uh, as uh, okay. Let I will explain the notion later. J is an M reduction. And D means that the maximum degree of the maximum generating degree and this means that you have this equality
So this is the usual definition of a reduction that you have this equality. And E should be bigger than the number, the smallest degree of the gen generator. So in the case where we, in the case where m equal to r, then it would imply that e is bigger e equal to zero, because that r is generated in uh, by by the unit which has degree zero. And so in, in this case, that this this number e is always positive. If if we consider the, if, we, if you consider the regularity function for an idea. And you can ask why we, why we extend it to, to module. And that, that because in many cases, like uh, if you consider the, the in the, in the current closure, you can reduce it to the case where you have, you have to consider a module. Now suppose that uh, now another example uh, is a K domain. It's, it is an uncreated algebra over a field. That in this case that we know that that there is there is this a number n zero such that if you consider the integral closure of a power of i, then it is equal to I n minus n zero I n zero. No, no. This is not the saturation. This one is a. It's interconclosed. And now we can put m equal to. to the integral closure of this power. And that this would imply that the regularity of the integral closure of the power is also equal to d n plus e for n large n. And moreover, we can, we can prove that d is the same d like in this case, for, for the ideal height, for the only ideal height. Okay. So, but it's not so important. So we explain why we, we study, uh, we extend the result also for the case of the module. And this, uh, these are all these results led to some question, some proper, say some, some open proper. That we, uh, by, by this re uh, research, we know uh, D, that the slow of this linear function can be computed explicitly. Okay. But we now know that E is bigger than this degree, but we don't know about E. So wh what is the meaning? So the first, the first problem is, what is the meaning? E. And the second one is, yeah, we have to estimate the place where the requality of I n, maybe it better than m, is a linear function. what
So these uh, two uh, problems seem to be very difficult. In fact, that uh, when we wrote the first paper when with Kotkowski and Herzog, and even in the second paper, we tried to, to think about it, but uh, we couldn't find any good estimate for his number. How many minutes do I have? Fifteen minutes? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Wow. Okay, I will speak. Uh, I will come right, right now to the, to the third part, and then if, if I have more time, then I will speak about a new approach. How to we can, we can uh, use it to study this, uh, this uh, two problem. So, as I said before, that uh, we we gave up, and also some of our collaborators, we gave up the to study this problem. But quite recently, that uh, uh, he, uh, Eisenberg, and Harris, they studies they start they start to study the simplest case. That means the case where, uh, where I, where the dimension, uh, the case where I is a homogeneous ideal in poly polynomial ring. And the dimension of S over I is equal to zero. Uh, I'm sorry, this may be that he can do it maybe more, more, more general. Yeah. That's the more important assumption that the, the idea has uh, the, is zero dimension. So in this case, it means that the, uh, this idea has a uh, uh, co finite uh, have uh, finite co lengths. So this is the most, most simple case. So if you, if you say, if we, if we think about when you take R, R to be the, um, R to be a polynomial, then it means that uh, the requality of I or I to M is equal to the uh, requality of, of I to the M minus 1. Okay. Uh, that means that you can change to the, to the factoring. To, uh, in the, the factoring of R, mod some power of R is again at dimension zero. And then in this case, uh, uh, the requality is very similar. It's just a large non vanishing degree. Okay. So this, the requality is so simple. But somehow that uh, even in this case, not everything it went uh, understood. So what, what he, they prove? They prove uh, two results. Uh, maybe I mentioned, uh, okay, I mentioned only one. That if you can't zero, that the, if you consider the the function, the requality of i to n minus d n. Okay, I have to say d. It's even even more. They assume so even more that i is equigenerated. It means that it's generated by the same degree. Say D. And then in this case, that we know that the slope of the linear function, which, uh, which is uh, the, in this case, is equal to D because that uh, the idea is generated by form of degree D. So if you take any reduction, then it's also generated by form of degree D. And that's why this number is equal to D. Okay. And then they prove that this, uh, if you take the, the difference, it is still positive first. It is easy to see. It's positive first. But moreover, that this sequence is non decreasing and non, non increasing. So, what they say more precisely, they say that it quickly 
decreasing. Now this is uh, this uh, okay, first. The second uh, result, uh, okay, result concern E. So they can in interpret the this invariant E in term is in uh, in term of uh, geometric term. Okay, some fiber morphism. So I I don't want to speak about it because it it, it will take time. It will take more time to describe what does it mean. But if you look at the paper, if you quite read some paper by Isaac Harris, and you you find some. So interpret, uh, in interpretation for E in this case, in this case only. And then up and and there is an another uh, quite recent paper by Eisenberg and Ulrich. They consider the same situation, like here. So the same setting. Then they prove that the equality of I n is equal to D n plus E for and large equal to the equality one. This is the rich algebra of I, which is defined as a as a great algebra, where T is a new indeterminate. And the, uh, the equality, uh, I, I say why here, because that this equality concerns only the grading of the read algebra with respect to, to, this, uh, to the power n here. We don't take care of the, about the, about the, uh, the, the grading of, of, the, of the ring of the grid algebra R. Okay. So if altogether, if you represent this read algebra, then you can, you can write down so, for example, if R is equal to, because that it creates a K algebra, then you can, you can write down this as a K x1 to xn over some idea and say, uh, probably I should say something like Q. Okay. And then it would imply that the read algebra You can represent as k x1 xs y1 yr over some bigger idea q star, where this uh, this uh, variable y1 yr corresponding to a uh, to a given basic of i. So you can see that. This, this again is a bi-grade algebra, as I said before. But if you forget the, the grading would it correspond to x1 and xs, you have another grading correspond to y1 and yr. And then you can also define the regularity. Like an algebra over, this is an algebra over r. And then you can define a regularity, as I said before, using local Komuchi module. Or you can also consider the the bi-graded uh, minimum free resolution of the read algebra over this uh, bi-graded uh, polynomial plane. And then, now it is, uh, it is bi-graded, so you, all, every, uh, every segment has two, uh, two uh, bi degree. And then you, you consider only the second degree, which con concerns the degree of y. And then you get also uh, another requality. And then it is the same like I, de I define the requality with respect to Lohan Komuchi Muru. So we mean that they had some estimate for for the play where uh, this function start to be uh, a linear function, and then they they question it whether they can whether one can 
extend the result to the higher dimension k, where uh, I have the uh, higher, uh, is higher dimensional. And as far as I know that I but have two other st uh, students, two PhD students now, who study the visa problem. Okay. And how many minutes do I have? Five. Five. Okay, let I, uh, it is too short to, to present the, the method. Uh, I think that maybe it's better to, so the new approach is it like this, that you consider now very general, that you consider now a bi-created uh, polynomial ring, like this. You consider a bi grade model, say this one, I will need node by, uh, say maybe esta, okay. And then I will consider uh, m star is a bi created Module. And then you can define m star n is a sum of all uh, component of the of this bi-created module, where we fix n to be the second degree. So you have. If you think about the read algebra he, like here, then give it somehow uh, isomorphic to the to i to the n, okay, to the power, n the power of the i and i, and then you can consider the equality. You can consider this function, m star n, okay. and then now each of this m n is is a, a module over the. Of the of the promoting k x one to x s, you you consider the equality, and then you can assume that x one to x s is a is a filter equal sequence. At the point that you can you can you can make a, a deformation of the origin ring in order to get that x one x s to be a, a filter equal sequence with respect to all these module m star n. And then it turns out that you have to consider the large non vanishing degree of the colon, uh, the colon idea, a uh, colon module. But these are colon mo modules, they are all vector space, which is killed by x1, xs. So we mean that then you, it turns out that you have to consider, uh, instead of this equality, you have to consider the, the large non vanishing degree of some, some vector space, which is, uh, 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 if you could take it all together, then is it a, a module over over this ring generated by i i y one to y r, and <coughs> and then in this case that you can you can uh, in some sense it's easy to to study the equality because that you instead of the of local commutation module, now you consider also the, the large non vanishing degree of some created uh, vector space, and then. Uh, it turns out that you can introduce a, a set of invariant which correspond to 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 the quotient module of uh, m star uh, over over uh, the submodule generated by by the module and multiply by by a set of variable x. So then you you get some somehow s invariant. And one of these. Uh, for each given invariant, you have a equality which is based to, to, to the degree y. And then you, you say this like, a, like a, you take all the maximum of all these uh, invariant, you could get a, a, a equality which uh, I, I use to denote by the big equality. And this big equality, in this set of invariant, it contains contain, uh, the equality, the y equality of the read algebra as one of the components. And in the, case, in the zero dimension case, you have only one, one invariant. And it's exactly this equality. So this result is somehow is a generalization of the result by, by, uh, by uh, Eisenberg and Ulrich. And this result also can be also uh, 
this research by by Isabel Harris can be also easily described because that, uh, if you consider the the associated cratering in the uh, zero elements case and every every uh, every crater component is uh, is again a, a vector space and then uh, uh, you have to to estimate because it it by grade, you have to estimate the the, the large non vanish degree <laughs> and then because that uh, it is standard graded <laughs> then you can see that this cannot this this must be uh, quickly decreasing and then you can pass from the associated ring to to the to the read algebra and then you win recover the result by Isabel Harris but I have no time to to speak about this so excuse me and this is the end of my talk.